In other news today, Union Railway Minister Piyush Goyal has spoken out about the need to make work timings flexible for their staff to try and ease their travel and traffic woes. The minister says to implement flexi timings other than the standard 9 to 5 p.m., the government needs citizen and private sector participation. He also said it is difficult to implement it for government offices, which will have to be open and available for citizens. A number of companies have already started using flexi timing to help improve their commute experience. Santia Gora joining us on the phone line. Santia, this has been uh, in the pipeline for some time. Uh, the minister was here, of course, to inaugurate a new Rajdhani Express. And there, once again, he has reiterated the need to implement it across board. Now, there seems to be a lot of challenges when it comes to the government jobs in implementing the flexi timings schedule. It's absolutely, Afrida, and as you rightly said, that this is there in the pipeline since many years now. In fact, uh, uh, there's an entire project which uh, which encourages and requests the CEOs and HRs and other companies to provide uh, their employees the option of flexible timing. So they say that uh, during the peak hours, which is morning uh, and evening, so the employees should have an option uh, to select their work shifts from uh, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m., and then uh, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. So that this can, this, can, this can reduce the rush hour because that's exactly the time when local trains in Mumbai are full of people, absolutely overcrowded. This will not just results into inconvenience to the people, but also uh, it, it also leads to the accidents because mm. many people, they fall uh, from the running overcrowded trains and uh, and that increases the number of uh, the, that increases the accident rate in the local trains and uh, now with uh, railway minister once again talking about it this has once again started the debate that how exactly this can be implemented uh, implemented and the challenges uh, regarding it and not just the government uh, uh, offices certain private offices also uh, for example, those leading to the customers and other um, uh, other places, they feel that it's pretty challenging to uh, fix the work shifts. Yes. And again, how exactly it is going to help the reduce, uh, help reducing the crowd to what percentage? That is something again a study has to be done to prove that. Hmm. But uh, yes, the talks are uh, the, they have started once again. All right. In a city like Mumbai, this is something perhaps uh, which is more than necessary at this point to ease out the overcrowding, especially in local trains. Thanks for joining us, uh, Santia, with your inputs on this.